My name is Kane Debankole and we are at Terra Culture where there's a private screening of Cluster the Movie going on. I'm Anu and um, I'm at Terra Culture for the movie premiere of for Cluster. Um, okay, um, the movie was good, um, although I was chatting with somebody and said, is there going to be a part two on how we ended with um, Frank, I want you all the time and all that. But I think in all, the, t the crew have done a good job. I mean, the, the um, Chama was the lead act, 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 actress and I think she, she did a good job in all, in, all, in all. So, of course, there's always room for improvement, but from what we've seen tonight, it means that um, the, there's prospects for us in, in, in Nigeria and we need to encourage our own, basically. So, nice one. There's workplace politics everywhere, but I think you really need to know how to play your game. Basically, um, having to draw the line between what is wrong and what is right and always have always have somebody to talk to someone you can trust that knows really really has your back so that's what we saw in there she was she had someone she was telling all the experiences with but I mean she couldn't tr she didn't know but I mean the lady was going behind our backs to use the information against her and she got the seat eventually and she got to die even though she was on the good side of the whole story so I would say that always have um, a balance to everything know when to really draw the line I mean she could have walked away from the job what would it cost really and all that so that's my take yeah the movie is actually very interesting they did their very best actually I learned a lot from the movie, a lot, like a lot. One, it should be reserved most times. Yeah, that's what I learned. I think it's um, an excellent movie. Um, you know, the storyline is unique, unusual um, storyline. Um, you know, we were expecting to uh, for the story to end in the usual Nollywood style, but I mean, it's an anticlimax, you know. Um, so I think it was a great um, story. Um, the actors, I mean, I mean, so, some of them are new actors that I'm not familiar with, but they delivered very well. Um, they carried everybody along, and it was just very interesting. So I would say the lead actor, um, I've forgotten what his name is now, but the lead actor was definitely on point. I mean, he um, portrayed the character um, very well. I believe his character um, was, to, I mean, rather, um, he had to be a naughty um rich kid um, and he did that very well I mean the throwing tantrums then acting naughty silly and all he did that very well um, it's been a fun evening I really had fun I enjoyed the performances from Kenny De Bancoli, Calabar Chick um, and the other actors it was really 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 good I think uh, in a nutshell it's don't be a psycho basically because when you're a psycho bad things happen to bad to good people sometimes yeah there's not much you can say because People make mistakes and um, all you can do is just probably come clean. Um, when you make a mistake, own up, say something quickly. That way you might not get manipulated, I think. So um, I directed the film um, and I also played the role of Ben. Ben is a small, psycho, um, energetic character who wants what he wants but doesn't know how to want it or the right way to want it, um, to get it actually. Um, he's a he's the son of a rich woman, influential woman, who spoiled, who wants to do nothing but enjoy. My advice to them is to understand that until when it rings, before the Okada man will know that he's not a millionaire. Um, we see big houses and big mansions in Lagos all around Nigeria empty. Um, if you don't make do with what you have, your parents. If you're not sensible while they are alive, then you really can't do nothing when they are gone. And time, they say, will tell. The first thing that comes to my mind is hilarious. Um, 
I had so many laughs. I had a lot of laughs. Um, there were so many times that I, I bust out laughing. Um, it's funny, but then rooted in the funniness, so to say, are key life values and life lessons that you know we need to pay attention to. We have workplace drama, all right? Ambition, being over ambitious, things people do to you know rise up the ladder. There's that as well. There's family values. Um, yeah. Um, I would say that just watch your back because you never really know people. You only know what they show you. And I and I say something that believe what people show you. When someone shows you who they are, believe it. Do not try to make excuses for them. So always watch your back. Um, do what you have to do. Pay your bills, right? I know that sometimes life happens and then it seems like you're not getting due recognition for the work they have put in, you know, but still, watch your back. No! Oh my gosh, yes! Like, for Christ's sake, what has your husband been doing to you? Pregnant and then the baby pops up. Why are you saying it like it's a bad thing? Why are you saying it like it's wrong for us to have sex without protection? We're married! And feed the baby with what? We can barely get by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you this. You will eventually come around. Ben, if you were not my son, I will throw you out in the street this minute. Get out! Get out! Get out! into your soul and you will apologize for what you did and you will stop torturing uh, I, me. I, I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I did to you. I... My role is a very sensitive role. It's um, a woman who was silent for a very long time. For too long a time, actually. Um, a woman who is strong, no doubt. But sometimes strength, you know, could pose as a problem. Um, so I think particularly what happened to this woman is that her strength became an obstacle for her. Particularly the role played by Joshua Alabi, I think he has mental issues, but the parents don't know. It's very easy in Africa to overlook mental problems, you know. They just say, oh, he's just troubled or he's just stressed or he's just, uh, you know, a little bit depressed. But actually, there are cases of mental issues that People are not paying attention to and we saw what happened to him because of that so I think he himself you could see that he wanted to help himself but he just couldn't help himself I think somewhere underneath all that um, crush or whatever it was or obsession I think there was a very strong mental illness happening so I think aside that I know they would observe and they would notice and I would like them to take it very importantly that there might be cases of mental illness you know involved there might be a case, rather, of mental illness involved. Working on the movie was very beautiful with the rest of the cast and crew because, for real, everybody brought their A-game. Everybody knew what the story was about and they wanted to deliver. Everybody was interesting, unique. I loved Steph Suma, I loved Joshua Labe, I loved Tunde Adegbola's character. I loved Auntie Tina Mba's character. She's mine, she's my fave. I loved my character, yeah, not really. She was too quiet, she was, I mean, if there are women like that out there, don't let your strength be a weakness. Don't let your strength now turn out around to be something that will be your undoing. Speak up, speak out. Don't be strong for nothing. Yeah, so it was beautiful working with everyone. Actually, how do I start? I really love fashion. I like combining. I like, I, before now, I used to play dress up and all. And then later on, I started learning fashion designing. And later on, last year, I thought about costuming as well. I felt, oh, I could do this too. So I met with the producer, Tunde, and then he said, oh, let's try. Um, the first project I actually did with him was a series, Relatives. And he said, oh, let's try. Let's see what you can do. And I did well from there. And then he called me again for a course. I was so excited. And I'm glad someone actually believes in me and in what I can do.
Wow, on set it was really, really fun because everybody worked like we were family, like we knew each other before the movie, before it coming to set. It was really nice. Everybody was down to earth. Like I didn't even have issues with any of the actors. They made my work so easy and it was really nice. As Frank, I played a sloppy husband that wasn't really giving his wife all of the attention that she needed. Um, they were having issues, uh, issues with sex, issues with making babies and having a family. And um, that led her to not be able to open up to her when some mistake happened when she went on a work trip. Um, so this movie generally is touches on obsession and uh, obsession is actually a mental illness whether we like it or not. Yes we have these people with us but when you get obsessed and we do get there sometimes when you get obsessed about a particular thing, you just keep going back over and over and it just doesn't make sense at the end of the day. And as you see, you might lose your life or you might lose things that are really, really important to you in life. So that's where this movie has gone to bring this story out, just to show people how these things are. We are all greedy. Uh, but in anything in life, good or bad, there should be a limit to how far you want to go to get things. Just try and, yes, you can keep going back to it till you achieve it, if it's something positive. But if it's negative, if you're going to rub off people the wrong way, just think about it. If somebody was doing it to you, what would you do? You understand? In the workplace, we also need to like take it slow a little. People do all sorts, sleep with their bosses, sleep with people, to meet deadlines, to meet targets. Yes, I won't tell you how to do your job. I can only say, let's just tread gently because we might be affecting people with these decisions that we make in our lives. My name is Tunda Degbala. I am the producer of Cluster and you're watching Tribe TV. Thank you.